Hi, I'm Matt, and today I'm going to show you how to alter the timing and pitch of samples in Logic Pro using stock plugins. Okay, so before we get properly started, I'm just going to say a couple things. Firstly, um, this is a quick and easy beginner friendly way of doing pitch and time uh, alterations to samples, um, and it's good. And it will work, but it will only work within, you know, as long as you try not to stretch it too far. So the further away you get, uh, the more difficult it'll be to keep it sounding natural. Also, it, it kind of depends on on the sample itself. So some samples will translate better when they're slowed down or sped up or changed key. So as long as you've got a good sounding sample and it's nice and clean, this should be quite straightforward. Also, uh, there are more elaborate ways of doing it using really expensive plugins, um, and they're great and quite obviously quite bulletproof. But if you don't have a lot of money to spend on plugins, then this is, like I say, the quick and easy way to do it using stock Logic plugins. That will help you out a lot. So, that being said, let's crack on and do this oh it's also worth mentioning a top tip top bonus tip if you think that there's a chance that you're going to be using samples in a song when you're starting off the song find the sample first um, and set the project to the key and the pitch of that sample it'll just make it really uh, it'll make it much easier to integrate that sample into the project if you start off with that key and that tempo in mind. So, you know, you don't want to have a, a project at 110 BPM and then find an amazing sample, which sounds really cool, at, I don't know, 150 BPM, and you have to try and slow that sample down and make it fit, and it's just going to sound terrible. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, uh, we've got this uh, new project. Got this new project here, 110, Anderson D major. But if I bring in this sample, which is uh, a clean bandit vocal sample from Splice, which is at 120 BPM, and it's in C. So it's close, but it's not quite in line with our project. And it sounds like this. <laughs> I've got the uh, metronome running here, but you can also see that it's not in time at all with our project. So, it's quick and easy. How do we change this? How do we fix it? Double click on it. Make sure you're in the File uh, tab. And functions, Time and Pitch Machine. Uh, this by default should be free and universal. That's cool, that's where we want it to. Uh, I'm going to ignore the transposition for now. Uh, so just so we can do one thing at a time, I'm going to set that to zero. So the tempo of the original sample is 120. So pump that up and my song is 110 so move that one so come from 120 to 110 bpm and that's it that's all we have to do go process and paste and it'll go boop and now it's perfectly in time <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, so next, let's do this uh, transposition. Uh, so let's just quickly change this. So because we we're done with the yeah. 
Let me download the speed. We don't need to change that anymore. Little side note, it's quite annoying. Occasionally you can click in here and edit these values by typing on your keyboard. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right, it's transposition. This is done in sense. So if you don't know about uh, transposition, sense is 100 cents per half step or 200 for whole step. So we need to go from C up to D. So to get there, we need to go C, C sharp, and then to D. So two steps, two half steps, so that's 200 cents. So 100 cents for C sharp, and then another 100 for D. So we need to go up to 100. Two hundred, and the same would be applied for going down. So, if you want to go from D to C, it'd be minus two hundred. Okay, uh, process and paste. Everything else looks cool. Don't want to change anything else. Process and paste. And that is now in D. You would have noticed the slight change in these uh, waves, but. <laughs> It's kind of hard to hear if that's in key because there's nothing else going on, but I'm going to show you that is now in D. And that is the quickest and easiest way of um, doing that in Logic using stock plugins. Or also, well, it's not really a plugin because nothing else is running. And then once that's done for that region, that sample, it's done. You don't have to worry about having plugins running. It's done. It's baked. It's um, kind of a set and forget. Um, but you will have to do it if you're bringing in multiple samples into this track. You'll have to do it that per uh, per sample, unless you join them all and then do it as one. Whereas if you're running an effects. Um, plugin for pitch changing you could just leave it there okay so hopefully this has helped and yeah and i'll see you next time thanks very much bye